Hi, my name's Joss. And I work at Northern Lights. Ah! Today, I'm gonna show you the most expensive bong at Northern Lights, along with the cheapest bong in Northern Lights. Compare all of them, give you the best bong in every price point, let you know all the info. And this video is gonna go $24 to $3,000. Strap in, bong is for breakfast, is back, baby. Shut off. You are too loud. My fucking God. Something I get asked every single day working at a smoke shop are these two things. What is your most expensive piece and what is your least expensive piece? And this right here is Northern Lights cheapest water pipe. It's gonna be a simple nine mil slide into its down stem with the rubber grommet here and here. Very just plain, easy to clean, easy to use, um, easy throw away if you're on vacation. Next one is going to be one of these simple guys. We're going to change it up on the joints. So you're upgrading from the nine mil to a 14 mil glass on glass. Just really simple disc perk in there. A little bit of fuming could be used for flour or a dab rig. Perfect for in the car, 25 bucks. Next upgrade is kind of going to be a beefier version of that last one. A little bit thinner glass, a little bit better of a weld, still 14 glass on glass and a little more of an updated kind of disc perk here. A little bit of color, makes it a little bit nicer. 34 bucks, so you're still not even at that 50 mark and walking away with something nice. Easily the most classic of all bongs, it's just gonna be your simple beaker. These guys are a little thicker than most. Um, 14 mil slide, 18, 14 down stem with your percolators, six slits with the open bottom, makes it easy to clean. Um, just a nice option and you'll be able to also put some ice in this guy too perfect for on the road don't smoke and drive slits for percolation what's up man how you doing Hi, Northern Lights. Working our way up a little bit in size. It's still gonna be a beaker, a little bit thinner than the last one. Still the same price at 39. A little bit more of a janky bowl. Uh, same kind of down stem. Allows you to do the ice. Just a little bigger option for people who really like to. A similar style, just a straighter base instead of that big bulbous base. Um, 18 mil side, so that's gonna change your airflow a little bit. A simple percolator, easy to clean. They call that a honeycomb. These guys are just 49 bucks, kind of sturdy. They have like a good amount of thickness to them. So for 49 bucks, perfect size. Another straight tube, only difference is gonna be, this guy's a 14, so a little more restricted in the airflow, but you're gonna have two chambers of water. So pretty much two areas of percolation, a smoother hit. This guy isn't the thickest in the world, but for 59 bucks, you can't really go wrong. That $49 one with just the simple percolation, that guy was 49 bucks. Um, definitely an upgrade function wise, maybe not thickness wise, but definitely not a bad guy. How you doing? Next up is gonna be the first American made piece that we have in the lineup that I've shown you. The rest have been either India or Chinese imports, which it's fine to sell imports. It's fine to buy imports, but there are better things out there. This being one of them, nice handmade slide, 14 millimeter, 18, 14 down stem, same as before, but these guys are not gonna have that rubber grommet. It's gonna be like an updated Jerome Baker kind of style. So these guys are killer. Really nice, made in Oregon by Trident Glass. Really good scoop, 79 bucks, you can't beat it. Same price point as the last one, not made in America. Very similar to that $59 piece I was showing you. A lot thicker, a little bit nicer made on all of the perks here. Same down stem and slide. But I would say out of everything in the store, I sell the most of these. They're a solid piece and just a really good cop. You can't beat it for under a hundred bucks. One of my favorites. Next step up is gonna be one of these glass half folds. Another one of my favorites in the store. They're gonna have a really nice seed of life kind of style perk in the bottom. It's gonna fizz up straight to the top where your ice pinches are gonna stop it from getting in your mouth. Can throw a little ice in there, 18 mil. So you're gonna have a little more airflow. Really cool, really intricate, and just another solid piece that uh, definitely goes well in the shop. Next up are going to be these really thick nine mil beakers from Illuminati. These guys are 99 bucks. Very simple down stem, same as the ones before. Just 
cool designs they have a bunch of different ones that you can choose from this guy being like a green heart kind of tron one but really nice speaker good for people who want to take really big snaps or chops and shit like that not made in america but definitely a really nice option for under 100 bucks and the rest of our pieces are pretty much going to be american made and over a hundred dollars next one up is going to be very similar to the last one except made in america specifically california these guys are left coast really nice beaker a little upgrade from the down stems that you've seen in the video so far instead of being a six slit like this it's going to be more down on the sides just more even function closer to a typical illadelph down stem um these guys are really nice not as thick as the last ones but the quality of the glass is definitely a lot better so all depends what you're looking for but these are a solid cop 159 139 and 99 for all three of their sizes this being my favorite being the large one of my personal favorites for scientific function are going to be licit they're very nice tubes they're really similar to a sovereignty for like a third of the price this guy at 199 is my favorite it's just a simple upward facing grid line really easy function 18 millimeter is going to just give you a really nice airflow nothing too airy nothing too choppy um a little quick to get dirty but easy enough to clean where it's not a problem super nice pieces made in america the guy's name is gibby and he's a solid dude always making great pieces for an affordable price for you guys who want to collect but don't want to break the bank but yeah killer and now we got these huge zongs they definitely do sell smaller ones starting at like a hundred ish dollars this guy going for 2.99 is going to be one of the biggest ones zongs are just classics they're made in america really great company they do the fumed bases and fumed tops most of the time easiest way to get a six foot bong to look like a three foot bong because if you were to straighten out all these kinks, it would be way too tall. Definitely a two-breather. Fun for 420. Something fun. It's definitely something fun more than practical. But they're classics. You can't be a zong. <laughs> Very kinky piece, if you will. Uh, we're too close to the music. <sighs> this guy should look familiar if you've been to college in the past 20 years. The Illadelph. These guys have been around for a long ass time. They come in padded boxes with extra little goodies, bags. They're gonna come with your slide. OG down stem comes in all Illadelph production lines nowadays. Um, really nice function. They're made in America. They're based in Philly. Um, pretty simple straight tube. Just a nicer quality glass. Anywhere from five, seven up to nine millimeters. These guys being at 489 puts us right at our $500 mark um but yeah solid tubes definitely have that reputation and have been around for a long ass time especially at all of our northern lights locations we have been with these guys since the beginning next step up for 549 are these sick augie worked beakers we have fully worked down stems joints booty mid and lip super nice really nice guy along with the custom slide Everything is handmade by him in America. Killer tubes. And I just like all the different varieties he sent us. Different down stem and slide and ash catcher combos. These are actually a dry catcher. No extra restriction. And super easy to clean. Yeah, I love these. Uh, these are some of my favorites in the whole store. Moving away from pretty and going more now for function, we've got these guys here. The brand is Mobius. This is specifically the 65 V5 really nice it's almost like a double matrix on top of each other some of the thickest glasses got to be at least like three pounds plus 18 mil filtered slide so it's going to keep a lot of that gunk out of here this brand is solid also made in america definitely some of the thickest if not the thickest tube in the store really great function another really great company and they're just always perfect so clean and i love that they engraved their logo into them instead of just slapping a sticker on there really nice tubes all of them function great the biggest tube in the store is gonna be another trident tube instead of these little campers we got this big guy they call him the mothership 
huge weed medallion, huge marbles all around the side. This piece is probably over five pounds, maybe close to 10 pounds. Very heavy, fully worked. It's got little accents, a custom matching slide. Um, but yeah, really simple function. This one is more about looks for sure. This guy going for $999. It's right before we reach that 1000 mark. I have a few more tubes to show you, but this one's definitely unique. Our first piece to break that thousand dollar mark are going to be these Davin Titlins. He used to work for Mothership, so he has some really nice seal work. Really nice job. Just everything is so clean. This guy is going to be pink, made in America, a 14 mil slide. And honestly, I just love the color, love the work. Everything's so clean. Not one imperfection that I can see, at least. And um, he makes rigs as well. A lot of other flower tubes, but this guy just pops. And I really like this one off the shelf. Definitely a perfect piece for your girlfriend or you. If you like pink, real men wear pink and even realer men smoke out of it. Another Augie, these are a little bit fancier. They're gonna have some UV reactant accents all throughout. These guys are going for $1,200. Fully worked again. Every section that you see comes with the slide, the down stem, everything matching. Augie glass on the back, solid tubes. Everybody loves them. They're a little bit bigger than the ones I was showing you before and don't have that dry catch, but all that extra work definitely makes up for it being a bigger tube and pretty thick along with that. Definitely a few that I think you might like. We have the Sovereignties. These guys are super, super nice they are really hard to get we get them once a year it is like a manhunt to get these people are like you know they're pretty adamant about getting the one they want and when they don't they're not the happiest in the world this guy's gonna be a pillar with that peyote kind of perk in the bottom a little accent on top which is also a splash guard color on this is gonna be transparent yellow encased these guys are really nice. They go for $14.49. We're not going to have this for long. So if you see it in the video and we still have it, snag it because these are gems and people really want them. Very function forward. That's the biggest thing about Sovereignty. Hard to recreate. Closest thing I say would be illicit for half the price. But these guys are killer and definitely worth it if you can get your hands on one. And here we are. The most expensive bong in Northern Lights. This is gonna be a Ludeman collab with Illadelph. There are two made of these. The orange one is in our other store, I believe Groton. Um, this is its counterpart. It is beautiful. Fully worked slide, fully worked middle, top, booty, and down stem. Super sexy, opal all throughout. It's gonna be a signature series tube. This is straight from their gallery. There's only two of them. Wicked cool. These guys go for $3,200. Um, definitely not a cheap piece, but a very thick, very pretty, really worked out. Simple function, but with this one, you're paying more for the looks, where with the sobs, you're definitely paying more for the function. I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these or a sovereignty. It all depends if you're more into the looks or if you're more into the function. As you can see, there's so many different types of bongs. We started off at this guy at $24 and worked our way all the way up to $3,200. It all is gonna come down to at the end of the day is how it's made, what it's made of, and how long it took to make. That's a factor a lot of people don't think. So I just thought it'd be cool to bring you through the store, show you what's cheap, what's expensive, and what's the best out of those options. My favorite brands are definitely Sovereignty, Licit, and Mobius. Illadelph's up there too, but I am more of a function guy myself. And if this gets 50 likes, I'm gonna do the same type of video going from the least expensive to the most expensive, but with dab rigs. So if you wanna see something like that, make sure to like it, comment, tell me what you wanna see next week. And thank you for watching Bong Hits for Breakfast. It feels so good to be back and we're coming in stronger than ever. I work in the smoke shop every single day, for the most part, over here in Northern Lights, Enfield, Connecticut. I have so many things that I do in a day. If you guys want to see a certain video of me at the shop doing something, doing anything, just comment down in the comment section below and let me fucking know.
Do you want to fuck with me, bro? I just bought the new Sov. I just got the new Illidal. Yeah. Yeah. Dick. Do you even know what the fuck I'm saying to you, bro? Fucking subscribe, dude. Bitch, I'm at the shop and I'm about to invent. If you need a new bong, get a fucking trident. If that's not cool, then you should coast. I don't give a damn. Bitch, go down the left coast. What the fuck you trying to say? This shit is too explicit. If that's too expensive, try yourself illicit. What the fuck you trying to do? I don't know, boy. You looking like Billy. Get it, illy. Go, boy. Oh, no. What the fuck you trying to say, ho? I don't give a damn. Yeah, we like dominoes. Because I sell all the fucking glass. Everybody knows me. Yeah, puff don't pass. Uh. Yeah, I see him real foggy. I don't give a damn. Look at these work Augies. And if you're not really trying to feel this, get some clear. I'm talking Mobius. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm fucking going off. I got an Illy in my hand and I'm straight spearing off. I go get this like a fucking G. I don't really give a damn. Come in and see me at Northern Lights.